A greeting, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading. My name is Ingrid, and uh, this is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of September uh, 9th through the 15th. Wow, well, let's see what the um, ancestors, what your ancient ones want you to know. And this is what they have for the week. Will you come in with magic, Guardian? You're unlocking some magic within you. This could be connecting to the magician, uh, to Gemini, a uh, Virgo energy. And you are then in the middle of the week. The night could be very important. Well, in the tarot, there are four nights, and this looks like the night of uh, swords. Be brave and honest uh, toward the truth this week. And uh, then what is coming uh, as you come into the end of the week is something about spring. You could have a memory about this past uh, um, spring where something had happened. But, uh, or you could be springing somehow forward or you're gonna be brave and honest uh, because something is coming in the spring and you're gonna see your seeds grow. The rabbit energy could be important to you and that could show you your own your way to growth and then the mountains stand your ground. You could find yourself traveling or being around mountains this week and that is just gonna encourage you to stand your ground this week. And uh, you might have some um, <clears throat> unclarity about a partnership. Is it right? Is it just? Or what happened? Is it out of balance in your relationship this week? Um, and it could be because of uh, something that is toxic that you're moving beyond in the relationship, some entrapment, some, uh, something that's unhealthy. And so why is this um, magic guardian here? What are you unlocking this week? Uh, well, you're unlocking a celebration. The 1111 portal could be important, but you're coming together with this partnership and unlocking the magic within it. And uh, this night is gonna help you be brave and honest this week about uh, a choice you have to make. Um, you could be a daydreaming or in kind of some delusion about these feelings, these choices. Uh, they could be kind of uh, bringing up some of these choices you have made um, that you are wanting to celebrate the choice and be brave and honest about looking at the choices you made because you are going to see this uh, seeds grow. Whatever you have grown and planted in spring is gonna bring you a sense of um, the hangman, a new perspective. You're hanging upside down. You're uh, getting uh, this week a new perspective about this ch these choices. You might feel like you have a lot of options. And it's coming because of the Ace of Cups, but you will choose this week and stand your ground about this uh, partnership, uh, about what you're... Um, <clears throat> Maybe you're letting go of uh, some old way of seeing it so you can have a new way of loving. And the Four of Wands is here with the Seven of Cups because of you're moving away uh, from this choice, from some delusion, um, something that you think is going to make you happy that, uh, and make you have a wonderful celebration, but you might need to move away from that because it's interfering with you being brave and honest. And the hang one in this new love opportunity uh, that's coming, a new way of loving yourself. You're seeing something uh, from a new perspective. Um, whatever this uh, heartbreak, this uh, breakup of um, a relationship that caused you a lot of mental anguish, you're going to have a new way of looking at this this week a new perspective on uh, whatever you mo had to move away from uh, in a relationship that broke your heart, a divorce, uh, but you moved on from these troubled waters and you healed. And what is coming from uh, this Six of Swords and the Three of Swords this week is temperance. Well, emotional balance, uh, taking um, time with the hang one and temperance to uh, take time out to heal and balance different feelings and um, emotions and values within you, beliefs, um, and to take from one realm and to another. So you're 
are going to change as you move on from this heartbreak uh, and become something totally new this week and set yourself toward the sun. And uh, that's what I have, and you will be making magic because uh, you're going to be brave and honest about what you planted, the seeds uh, last spring, and stand your ground uh, toward this new love that you're seeing from a new perspective. And you're going to heal and find um, emotional balance this week, Scorpio. And this is a card of um, temperance, of the alchemist. And that's what I have for my Scorpio. And thank you again for uh, being a part of uh, Ingrid's Insights and helping the channel grow with your thumbs up, comments, and your likes. And sending you love this week, and may it be a blessed week. And so it is. Bye-bye.